What's up, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. So, unfortunately, I did start this episode, and I had some technical difficulties, which does happen when you stream. It is one of the most frustrating parts of streaming when you're doing a very, very good episode, and all of a sudden, things don't go the way you want it to. You got to redo everything, which is, it's the name of the game, man. If you want to be a streamer or you want to do videos like this, you're going to have to sometimes encounter when things don't go the way it's supposed to go, meaning a thunderstorm comes through in late February and knocks your power out. That will definitely interrupt your streaming and it will cause your video not to save. So it saved on the game's point of view with autosave, but it did not save on the YouTube's point of view or the streaming stuff I have to save videos point of view. So we have to restart everything, guys, which is perfectly fine. So I have played this episode. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But it is still a very good episode. and I think it's very important to play this aspect because it does show the darker side to what Homegirl is going through. You know what I'm saying? Last episode, we encountered maybe some monsters in her bedroom as a child. That's a possibility after what I've experienced in this episode, man. It is a sketchy, sketchy situation. So, without further ado, guys, let's hop back in here. Let me get back to where we were at. I'm not sure what button I pressed. I pressed the wrong button. We're going to go back here to, let me see, we were down, we were down here, and this is the one we just started, you know, the one I started, and it happened to just go away. So, yeah, we're going to erase everything, guys, and then redo this episode um, and hopefully get it right. So, here we are. We are either a teenager or in college. Get up. Not exactly sure how old we are in this video, but or this uh, episode, but we will What's definitely encounter some crazy, crazy stuff get in dressed. this uh I'll explain in the car. This little episode. So, here we go. Happy Friday to you guys, by the way. Hope you guys had a great week, and hope you guys have a great weekend. The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infra-world, as they call it. They've created a condenser, a machine to open a rift. To All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this up a little bit. His voice is very quiet. I want you guys to be able to hear what he's saying, because it is somewhat important as to what he's saying. So, here we go, guys. What Listen up. Beyond? They've opened a passage? Iden's world? Something happened last night. Yeah, so Iden's world, which is his, you know, her, down the her little friend. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. This, but they know only again, you man, it reminds me so much what lies beyond the rift. of Stranger Things. 100% reminds me of Stranger Things. So basically, man, if you guys don't, if you guys can't understand what's going on, somebody opened a portal to the dark side where our imaginary friend Ivan. I call him Ivan. I don't know what they call him actually in the Go game, ahead. but he's better as Ivan. They open up a, a, a dark, dark portal to that world, which is not good. Not Go good ahead. at all. If you don't want to do it, just say and I'll take you back. Who else is going to do it though? Uh, right. Professor, whoever you are? Doctor? I mean, do it. I, I don't see a choice. Either I do something or a lot of people die, which it sounds like people have died thus far. So let's, you know, try to prevent that from happening and uh, do what we can. So let's go scope this out, guys. Let's see what we have in store for us today. What are you thinking? You don't understand. She's the only one that can stop this. And nobody knows who I am or what I can do, apparently, because they get mad at me for being here. Is that the girl? I'm sorry, miss. You can't come from me. She can go. Soldier, I can go. I have clearance beyond any clearance you will ever get in your life. Trust me. Let's do that. I'm ready to go. But thank you for doing your job. I do appreciate you. Bye-bye. So, yeah, man, as you can see, whatever is inside here, guys, it has caused a major, major ruckus, man. This is a Category 5, holy hell, what transpired type of situation. So we need to do what we have to do to put an end to whatever's going on inside this building. And I'm not sure, guys, what this building is. I didn't catch that at any point in time when I played this episode. It looks like it's some kind of, maybe it's a CIA, I don't know, man. I couldn't see the uh, writing on a wall there to the left of us. There was some kind of symbol, but homeboy right there is blocking the symbol. The around the rift, they're not like Ivan. They're from the depths of the other side. We know almost nothing about them. Hmm. I've been living with an entity that I know nothing about since the day I was born. Yeah, yeah, she has. I get it. Don't worry. I don't plan on dying today. 
I don't either, because that would end my game. I can't end my game yet. I gotta finish the entire game. So basically, what what he said is like where Ivan came from. This is this is where whatever entity this is. This is where it came from as well, but it came from a darker, darker part of of Ivan's world, and that is a part that uh. So right to the Department of Paranormal Activities. <laughs> really? You couldn't get a better name than the movie name, anyways, you guys. <laughs> I never noticed that till now. Um, yeah, so whatever is in here, whatever entity or entities are in, are in here is something that came from my imaginary friend's world, but it came from the dark side. You know what I'm saying? Like it is the bad, you, the bad place. Like I'm we scared. don't we don't want to be messing with it, but we're going to. We have Ivan, man. Ivan's our boy, right? He is going to protect us. I hope, truly, truly hope. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I kind of do know, but I don't know. Because I didn't play a lot of this, guys. I played like five minutes of this game, and then a freaking thunderstorm killed my power. So I will let you know where it is new for me, all right? But I won't spoil things. Come on. Damn it. Camera view is horrible up in this game. All right, well, I don't know what's in here, but we're going to continue on, folks. I, you know, when I play Detroit Become Human, I can control the camera view. This game, I really can't, dude. Like, I can't. I can't control the camera view, and that's kind of odd. It, I mean, maybe I got maybe I'm hitting the wrong button. I don't know, but it just seems like I should be able to at least control something. Um, but I can't. So, all right, let's get out of here, guys. I don't know if there's anything in here. A lot of destruction, obviously. You know, something that was in here definitely was not a good thing. So, yeah, let's continue on, guys. Let's go over to the lift. And I wonder why we have all these freaking gurneys, man. What is this place? And my question is, does a place like this really exist in real life, man? Because if it does, which I gotta imagine, it probably does. Maybe not with this this nature, you know what I'm saying? Not like the dark entities, but like crazy experimental stuff. Probably does exist somewhere in our society that we have no knowledge about. Like, we got a place here in my world, or not my world, my city, where they experiment on monkeys. <laughs> like, no, no joke, and nobody knows about it. No one knows about it. And they experiment on monkeys with like shampoo and whatever else, some kind of cleaning products. I don't know what it is, man. But it is a very top secret place. I know about it because I'm awesome. Go see what you can do, Aiden. But the majority of people do not know about that location right here in town. So, anyways, enough about that. Let's head on down to the elevator and see what we got going on down here, folks. Something is definitely blocking the elevator. It is that. Oh, hello. You hear me, sir? All right, well, he can't hear me, so that's not good. Nothing behind us. All right, let's get this out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and move it. See ya. All right, so that, that closed the elevator. This guy looks like he's deceased. He is dead or, oh my gosh, what the heck happened? The elevator moved. All right, guys, so when my power went out, I just went into the elevator. So basically, this is going to be new for me. If we do enter the elevator, oh, I'm sorry, we do enter the elevator. But after we enter the elevator, that is when my power went out because of the tornadoes that were 40 miles away. But the thunderstorms that were in my neck of the woods, how the hell do I get up or get out? Where is, okay, my guy, okay, I'm like confused here. I'm like upside down all around. Where is, where is the way out? What is going on here? Do we have to go higher up? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. All right, all right, so we're here now. Let's go ahead and find the door. Dead guy is still with us. We brought him up with us for whatever particular reason. All right, I don't know how Ivan's getting out. We're going back to her because she can just at least open this door, hopefully. We're going to slap the A button, guys, trying to get inside this door. Our girl is strong, man. Our girl is very, very strong. That doesn't look good, but she's she's a fighter, man. She's a warrior. She's like, I don't care about no blood or dead bodies. I am going to jump on here and be like, what's up? Oh, no. Elevator's moving. Eh, she kind of looks scared. I don't blame her, dude. I mean, again, I don't know if she's a teenager or in college, but this is some stuff that people don't typically see in their world. You know what I'm saying? This is out of the ordinary, and if you've never seen a dead body in your life, it is, yeah. She's probably a little bit terrified. For some reason, man, I'm getting like I'm getting like some Walking Dead like vibes here. Okay, guys, I have not played this part of the game at all, so this is all new 
for me as well. But yeah, I'm getting some Walking Dead vibes, man. Like, I don't know. It just seems like these guys are going to come back to life. What am I doing here? Oh. All right, well, we got to try to see what happened to him. She's going to use her teleporting, whatever that word is. Tele... What, what is it? Telepedic? No. Tell us something. <laughs> I'm having a brain freeze. All right. We're going to try to figure out what happened to him. Come on. Oh. Oh, no. Telepathic. That's it. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, man. A brain freeze. Oh, so whatever. Whatever. Through that is definitely uh, not a, a pleasant thing. But the kicker is, guys, we do have Ivan on our side. And I, I know. You guys are going to critique me. I know his name is not Ivan, but I, I literally named him Ivan. That is a cool name, in my opinion. And I like it. So can we get out of this place, or are we stuck here forever? All right, let's go ahead and hit the number four button. We're going to the restricted area, guys. We're going to the lavatories. Not sure if that's the smartest idea in the world. But you know what, guys? It is what it is, folks. We are going to go down here or up there. I don't know where we're going. And we are going to explore the lavatories. The restricted area where this thing is probably living and feasting off who knows what it's feasting off of all right let's go lady all right so we have more dead bodies and it looks like a massive massive crime scene she's freaking terrified man she's terrified i don't blame her bro i really do not blame her one bit hello oh god go nothing but death Told you, Walking Dead. I told you. Yeah, so that's not good. You guys see the freaking gash on his cheek? Holy hell. That was a massive, massive gash, man. That something is not friendly down here, but we're going to go ahead and move his body anyway. <laughs> it's like, really? Like, after that, the dude just popped alive. We're like, eh, whatever. We're just going to move his body. No harm, no foul. What is what is this? Oh, this does not look like an area that I necessarily want to go in. Okay, that looks like the the, the pits of hell. You know what I'm saying? You guys see that at the end of this? Look at that. Like, I don't want to go there. Why? It looks like it's just completely on fire. What would possess my, my character? Oh, God! What the shit? Seriously? Uh, turn. Uh, this lady needs to turn around. Ivan. Is he still down? All right, he's still down. He's dead, but I don't know how dead he is. All right, we're just going to keep our back towards him because that makes all the sense in the world. And we're going to try to use our shoulder. Use oh, my God. What is going on? Holy cow, man. What in the heck, dude? And we're just going to keep trying, you know, like... <sighs> How about we send my my better half in here? How about we send my my Try other? Try to open it from the other side. Yeah, send yeah send freaking Ivan in here, man. Because like, dude, this does not seem like a fun idea. All right, well that just turned that off. So I don't know, I don't know what that was about. And I guess let's try to hit the buttons here too, and we just fried that. That didn't do anything. How about this? And all right, well, just move that. What is this? Let's try this down here. All right, we got it open. All right, come on, Cinderella. <laughs> she's dude. She's looking back the whole time. She's like, bro, bro, don't, don't come at me, don't come at me, I dog. Know. What? I can feel it too. Great. They're here. There. How close to me, okay? Um, yeah, Ivan's always close. Ivan never goes away from you. Well, I mean, when he goes out and does his thing, sometimes he goes away, but he's he's close. I promise you. But who's here? How many are here? How, I mean, how many how many are you sensing? Are there more than one? Look at this freaking computer whatever area. Hard drive motherboard, whatever this is. This is a mess, man. What is this freaking place that we're in? And why are we here? All right, there we're going to go. We're going to go try to push this one over because they're all pushed over. Might as well push this one over, too. we got to add to the destruction. Okay, well, we're too weak for that. Ivan, do your thing. Let's see if Ivan can do something. 
Oh, here we go. And a little bit of push. Look at that. And a little bit of push. All right, is there anything else we can do? Can we, like, attack this guy before he attacks us? No. Is there anything we can do back here? Doesn't look like it. God, that fire looks looks crazy. Oh, there's one thing back here. Look at this. What is this? Let's attack this real quick. And boom. Yeah, Ivan's got it. Is that everything? Uh, looks like it. So let's hop back into our mode here. Now what? Do we got to climb this thing? Am, am I supposed to go up? Which way was it? I don't remember which way it was now. Is it this way? I can't see because of the freaking camera view. Oh, there it is right here. All right, well, let's climb up here. Go ahead. You got it. Spider monkey. Climb. Good job. This does not seem like a safe area to be. Oh, are you serious? We are going into the death of fire. Like, this has to be hotter than hell. For real, for real. Like, dude, we are in, what, metal, aluminum, whatever those those uh, vents are made out of that's got to be freaking hot it's just in a freaking in, in a, a room full of fire like come on man what is that noise what the hell was that oh great she's got COVID she's coughing Ivan are you in here like I don't know if this dude ah! All right, I'm going into Ivan mode. We're gonna start messing some things up here, man. I don't know what that did. That, that did anything. All right. Now let's go. Where, where are we going? We gotta check this room out. Oh, she doesn't want to. She wants to go through here. L lady, I'm in charge. Let's check the room out. <laughs> You're just like doing your own thing. All right. Well, this room is full of smoke, so we're, we are going to evacuate. We're gonna get out of here, guys, because that just seems like it's gonna suffocate us with the smoke so we're going to go ahead and continue on and i don't know what we're doing here or what the purpose of this is you know we're looking for this dark entity but like what do we do when we find it i mean are we gonna like attack it are we gonna, are we gonna try to kill it i don't know are you hurt can you move not gonna make it calm down C calm down Everywhere. look behind you soldier <laughs> This soldier's like, calm down, sir. Calm oh my gosh, man. So violent. This soldier's like, calm down. Why are you so excited? Calm down. Is that a fireman? That is a fireman. Bro, that's not good. All right, let's go check out the fireman. Maybe we can take his fire outfit. Maybe we can wear it. Hey, guys, we do play firefighter on firefighter simulator, so we know what we're doing here, guys, especially, you know, because we're like a chief on that game. So, if we can just put the fire out, we'll be ideal. Or right, Ivan, do your thing. Do your thing, Ivan. Put it in my head. Let me see what happened to the firefighter. In my head. There we go. In my head. Come on. What are we doing here? This one's taking a little bit longer. There we go. Suck it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Why would he... Why would he bring a fire extinguisher up to a giant fire like that? That's like my, my fire department in my game, dude, for real. Like, we're the dumbest firefighters in the world. Oh, damn. Oh. Hey, why is he by himself? I've never seen a firefighter go into a high-rise building by themselves to fight a fire. Doesn't seem feasible, doesn't seem logical, but whatever. Oh, yeah, we definitely... Look at that. That's a great picture. What are we doing Fire here? Fire extinguisher. Where? There's got to be one around here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. I can see it. Find it, Iden. I told you guys, we do play a firefighter in another game, so we are a pro at this. All right. What are we going to do with it? We just shot it right across the fire there. Is she going to squirt the fire? I think she is. All right. All right, grab it. Put your arms down right below you. There you go. Get that. All right, let's squirt it. You got to, yep. Yep, squeeze and point and let's go. Look at that, guys. We got this. Hell yeah. That is a awesome picture as well. And we look. See, I told you, I am a I'm a full time firefighter chief, guys. I know what I'm doing. 
So again, I don't know where we're going or what the point is. It's like we're chasing whatever this thing is. Ah, no, get! Oh, man. Wow, looks like a burnt up marshmallow. That's very mean, but that's what it looks like with a white coat. Looks like a burnt marshmallow. All right, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of there, or there, there, who says that? What is it, that's not even a word, bro. Get out of here and go into here. Um, what am I doing? Pressing that button. Don't cut yourself, dude. That's like an artery waiting to happen, man. That would freaking, ah! You cut your wrist, lady. That was your fault, not my fault. Your fault, 100%. Oh, great. It probably smells blood. Not good, not good at all. All right, we are in a... Is somebody alive? Hello? Firefighter, or uh, fire department. Where, where are you? Make yourself known. He's right back here in the corner, I can see him. Hello? No, 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 please, please, go I'm on go your away. side. God, no, please. Easy, I'm, I'm Jody, I, I work with Professor Dawkins. The entities. Jody, they that's it. The laboratory. Creatures from the depth. I, I managed to hide, but they're still here. I know they're still here. Try to get to the elevator. Yeah, I know they're still here too, bro. I it's literally working now. You, you should be kinda, able to get out. You know, You're sense it. Here? But those things, those, th those things will kill you. Yeah, I know. I'm not alone. We always face death alone. No, I have Ivan. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! No, don't call me that. Ah! That's not a nice word. Alright, so it can possess people, that is for sure. Um, get something. Yeah, there you go. Hit him. What? Oh, man, we're getting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow! Ow! Get up! Yo, we're doing good at dodging and fighting right now. Oh no, you got a TV? Computer? Oh! <laughs> right in the jugular! Oh, oh. He just shook it off like nothing! It was like nothing! He's still going! I don't know what to do! This guy won't die! Ivan, do something! Do something! Oh, he's dying. He's finally dying. Get up, get up. Hurry up. Oh, he's gonna pull it out. Oh my God, he pulled it out. That is not good. I am slamming the A button. I'm slamming the A button. I'm gonna break my A button, bro. I'm gonna break it, yeah. Dude, stop on his head, kick him. Oh, ow. Hit him. Ready, set, and go. Oh my gosh, look at the gash on the back of that head. Good job, Jody. Whew. Wow. I'm not sure if he's dead or not. I, I don't know how this works, man. I would literally try to stab him again. <laughs> like, he's possessed, bro. He's possessed. Not good. Oh, we're just gonna, just gonna shake it off like nothing happened. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right, now what? What are we doing? Let's go over here. There's another guy here. Maybe he's alive. Sir, are you alive? Are you going to come out and kill me too? Are you going to turn into a zombie? I don't know. We're going to check on you anyway. Sir, can you hear me? And... What are you doing here? Why is everybody a zombie? Why is everyone calling me a bitch? Like, that is not nice. I am not a bitch. I'm a human. I'm a good person, man. I'm a good person. All right, well, let's go back over here, guys. See if there's anything else we can do. I don't think there is. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Like, are we just trying to piss off this freaking entity? Or are we trying to kill it? I don't know. But we're going to get out of here. This is a very dangerous room. All the humans are acting like, you know, zombies. We got some soldiers over here. Maybe we can take their guns and start shooting things. Hello. Oh, great. We're going to see what happened to this guy now. All right. Well, let's see what happened to him. Let's see if we can figure out how he died. Get out, for Christ's sake! 
entities can go through matter. This won't stop Literally. them. Sorry. Can't take that chance. Oh my gosh. What in the hell, dude? Whatever this thing is, I need to kill it because it is very, very violent. Like, that is some demented stuff, man. Like, that is... Holy cow. Anyways, alright. Let's continue on, folks. It's a very, very violent episode. I do apologize. I had no clue it was like this. Alright. Department Apparel. Normal activities. Right, are we sending Ivan in? Right, okay. Ivan's gonna do something. What's he gonna do? Come on, Ivan, open the door. There we go. Good job. Stay close, okay? He doesn't ever go away. I don't know why he keeps saying it. You act like he goes on his own little missions. Oh no, moving chair! Not a moving chair! Anything but a moving chair! I got a feeling that we're very, very close to whatever this entity is. And it, uh, it does not like us being here. Alright, Ivan. Can you see him? I'm gonna scope it out, man. I'm gonna see if I can see this thing, because I wanna fight it. I'm done with this shenanigans, man. It's just trying to make me mad and trying to hurt everybody. Well, it is. It's killing everybody. It's trying to hurt me. Oh, jeez. Ouch. Oh my god! I keep getting hit! Ow! Oh, Ivan, get him off my foot! This thing is freaking nasty, dude. Ow! Oh god. Oh god. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, that's the worst way to die, dude. Oh, thank goodness, man. Holy cow. <laughs> She's just gonna be like, alright, let's go. <laughs> that was fun. What the hell, man? She, actually, nothing happened, dude. Like, she almost did just die. What are we doing here? You gotta, we gotta squeeze through? Uh-oh. Go ahead. You can squeeze through. She, she's like, ah, I don't know if I want to. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. Good job. Wow. All right. So everybody is froze. All right. Well, uh, by all hazard, authorized personnel only. So that means I probably close. I can feel the echo on the other side. Shouldn't I go in here, right? Let's take it really slow. Maybe we can slip through unnoticed. I don't. I don't think he can. I don't think he can slip through this unnoticed. But uh, we can give the old college try. But what we're gonna do, folks, is we are going to stop this episode here. We go. We're gonna pick up where we left, or we we are going to pick up where we leave off. If I could speak, we're going to end an episode here, guys. This is going to be a, another episode, a part two of this one. Hopefully, it is not much longer. But I don't know how long it is. And I don't want to have a tremendously long episode, like an hour long. So we're going to end it here. So clearly, dude, this is not something that we need to be messing with, but we have to. I mean, obviously, who else is? There's nobody else that can that can remotely take care of this. Clearly, the army can't. These scientists can't. Doctors can't. No one can besides us. We have the capability. We have the tools. We have the mindsets to do that we just got to do it so we're going to pick up later on guys we're going to play this episode a different day and do a part two and hopefully hopefully come to a conclusion and take care of this nasty nasty dark entity that does not need to be in this world so with that being said guys thank you so much for joining me hope you guys did enjoy this episode and i will see you in part two